Oh my god, Minecraft 1.21 is looking spicy. How you doing, lads, laddies, and lovers? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at everything in 1.21 as of right now. Channel members, if you'd like an up-close look at Minecraft 1.21 everything, I've got a world download of this world out right now. Let me know your favorite thing in the update so far down below. And 3, 2, 1, let's go. The first thing in our 1.21 menu today is a brand new mob variant you'll be able to find spawning in both versions of the swamp and some trial chambers. This little and not so much buddy is called the bog. It's essentially a poison swampy skeleton with mushrooms growing out of its head. No thank you. <laughs> Brand new blocks, ho oh, ho, 1.21's got them. We kick things off with a brand new steampunky, wheelie looking block. Now keep in mind that every single one of these copper blocks is going to come in a normal form and a wax form, and all of the oxidized stages as well. I mean, in a way, there's like eight versions of chiseled copper, which is made inside of the stone cutter by cutting a copper block into four. The copper grape and all of its oxidized variants is almost like the glass of the copper block family, you could say. The grates are pretty great block for a couple different reasons. Reason number one, you can kind of see through it. Great in builds. Reason number two, mobs don't spawn on it. Reason number three, mobs don't spawn under it, yeah, kind of, because it doesn't block out any light at all. All of the light passes through. Aesthetically, this beauty fits in perfectly with the other copper blocks and is made inside of the stone cutter by cutting one block into four. The copper door, I don't even want to tell you how you craft this thing, but look at it. It comes in four variants. You can wax the door as well and... I mean, it's copper. It looks nice. The copper trap door is essentially almost just like the top half of the full copper door. Oh, the copper bulb. It's a bright block. It's a strange block. It's an insanely technical block with kind of, like in a way, 16 variants of this block. The copper bulb, naturally, when crafted and placed down, it's going to be turned off. However, if I were to say load a little bit of power into it, then it turns on. If I take the power away, the power stays on, but the red dot goes away. Finally, if I go ahead and power it again, red dot is back, but no power at all. If I remove the power source altogether, red dot is gone again. That's how we end up with 16. Now, the copper block, just like so many of the other 1.21 features, is pretty advanced. There's a lot to it. For a more in-depth video, check out my Everything series playlist. Depending on the time you're watching this, there might be a full in-depth breakdown and say, the updated armor trims, the copper bulb, or the crafter. The crafter is maybe the most technical block in all of 1.21, at least as of the recording of this video. This block is also the first block to use a crafting table in the recipe. Now, this is not your average crafting table. I place it down and check it out. The UI is a little bit different. First off, we've got these interactable slots. Depending on the recipe I'm trying to make, I can enable or disable some of these slots. Like, uh, for example, let's say I'm maybe trying to make iron trap doors. So next up, with the configuration correct, up top, I'll put iron ingots up there, and then because I have hoppers, everything will get moved straight into the craft room, and it'll slowly start to fill up. Now, the only thing missing from this operation is a redstone signal. A redstone signal, speaking of, not a problem. If I pulse to this crafter when all of the ingredients are inside of it, it will actually craft whatever ingredients are inside of it. And when it does it, that arrow lights up. This buddy is going to be amazingly useful inside of farms, and <laughs> it's kind of adorable too, isn't it? I love it. The structure of the 1.21 update has a lot of new unique loot, including two brand new banner patterns. I love them both. They look so good. This one is called Flow. This one is called Guster. They're going to be decently rare, though. Expanding on what Minecraft 1.20 laid out for us, Minecraft 1.21 also got some brand new shirts to decorate your world up with. These things are so cool looking, and this one, I almost got a little bit of deja vu going on. I feel like that's been in the game, but no. Armor trim, armor trim, maybe the best thing 1.20 did. This one is called the bolt. Look at how good it looks. I went ahead and trimmed it with every single material possible on iron armor, because I feel like iron armor is kind of like a blank canvas, right? This design, the vibe right here, is kind of like steampunky, at least in my opinion. In my opinion, you gotta pick a favorite combo here. I think the iron on iron actually goes so hard, not gonna lie. I love the pixel artwork done with this one. Oh, but just you wait, there's more. The other armor trim, it's known as Flow, and it's got a beautiful looking item. Like, look at that color. This is the very first trim that is duplicated or cloned with not a block, a breeze rod. Anyways, the trim though, for now, oh, it's cool. It's kind of got like these like swerve, curve, cool looking things going on. The helmet goes so hard. The back of the helmet is so clean looking like, ah, with this one, I feel like the helmet is where it's all at. I mean, whole set is beautiful, 
But helmet? That's gorgeous. But wait a second, did somebody say Breeze Rod or just Breeze in general? So the Breeze is a brand new hostile mob unlike anything else in the game coming to the game inside of this update. When you take it out, remove it from the world, without looting, you'll get anywhere from one to two Breeze Rods. Now good news, the Wind Charge, when it hits you, it doesn't deal that much damage, but it does send you up into the air, and from my experience, it's the fall damage where it gets bad. Now kind of just like a, like a gas ball or anything like that, you can actually hit it if your timing is a little bit better than mine, you can hit it and send it right back over to the Breeze. When it comes to the health amount that the Breeze has, it's really not the most in a grand scheme of things. Now anyways, back to the Breeze Rod. Inside of a crafting table, we can turn it into a wind charge, which is maybe basically like the best thing of all time. It's so cool. With the help of none other than the wind charge and a little bit of perfect timing, if you can get it just right, 10 blocks or more, not a problem. That's a clean jump. Also, if you got that timing down perfectly, no fall damage either. For even more of the amazing wind charge possibilities, check out this video next. At the time of recording, this breakdown of 1.21, by far the most mysterious item is the Heavy Core. As it stands right now, the Heavy Core is only a crafting ingredient, but why in the world can we place the crafting ingredient down in the world? Inside of a crafting table, one combined with the Breeze Rod that we just got from the Breeze, we can craft ourselves the brand new, beautiful mace weapon. Now the mace, oh, this thing is insane. This thing goes so hard. If we can get the timing just right, all fall damage is removed and instead converted over into damage and to knockback to whatever I just hit. So like again, check this out. I fly up really high in the air and right now the health situation is not too hot. However, as long as I hit something before I land, <laughs> no fall damage and a lot of damage. Maybe a better way to show this off is the Iron Golem. Very, very healthy mob. If I go ahead and fall from a high height and hit the Iron Golem. Yeah, so the mace takes timing, skill, and patience. Ah, but how could I? Those last like 10 or more things that I showed off, <laughs> I didn't even tell you how to get them. Pretty much everything, at least right now with this update, is all linked to this beautiful brand new structure called the Trial Chambers. The Trial Chambers is essentially classic Minecraft dungeon on steroids. This thing is crazy. They can get really, really expansive. In fact, I found some that can stretch over 150 blocks long. Now, the Trial Chambers will definitely have its whole own video or maybe even videos of its own because there's a lot here. Inside of each Trial Chamber, you're going to have different kinds of mobs, ranged to small and melee mobs. You're also going to have these interesting ways to get loot and just a lot of other cool loot sitting around as well. There's a lot of lore here too, if you're into that. Now, inside of this Trial Chamber structure, one of the potential loot items that you could get if you're nice and lucky is this little thing called the Trial Key. Aesthetically, it looks like this key is made out of copper and it may be tough. Inside of the trial chambers, for the most part, loot is done completely differently. That's all thanks to this strange looking block called the vault. I cannot unsee that face screaming at me on the front. I don't know if it's hilarious or, uh, or if that's maybe the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Anyways, the vault is basically like a chest that you can interact with, but only one time. You need a key to interact with it, and once you interact with it, items are going to be spit out of the top. Oh, look at that, the new pattern, that's beautiful. And then it closes and locks. After that, if I walk up to it with another key, even if I like wait a long time, an hour or two, nothing will happen. How it works, each specific individual player can interact with the vault one time. However, my boy over there, standing right there, you see him too, right? Yeah, yeah, well, my man will be able to walk over here and interact with the vault and possibly actually end up with completely different loot than I got as well. Combine this with the fact that the trial spawner, the new spawner you'll find all over the trial chambers has a cooldown of 30 minutes and the vault is like the ultimate replayable combat structure on a server. And so I can't believe it, but that brings us near the end of the list today. Now, over the past couple of months, 1.21 has expanded a huge time, and even better, 1.21 isn't finished yet. It's still in active development, with at least like a thing or two more, I think, on the way. At least based off of some of the hints that the devs have given us throughout the months. Anyways, next up, last but not least, Tough has been expanded, and it's one of the best block sets of all time now. Starting things off with the plain old classic tough lock, you can now turn it into staircases, slabs, and walls, and it's good looking. But we could go ahead and level that up even more with some of these other beautiful blocks. Chiseled tough, look at that, it's windy and breezy, it's so cool. It actually has the exact same design on the top that this design has on the side too. Interesting. 
Polish stuff, which is really, really nice. It's kind of like Polish andesite and everything like that. But then you get stairs, slabs, and walls as well. These bricks are beautiful. Those beautiful bricks. From the second I met them, I, I fell deeply in love. Is this maybe Minecraft's best brick of all time now? I mean, I don't know. You be the judge of that one. But, oh, that's good looking. Also, unsurprisingly, we've got staircases, slabs, and walls too. Last but definitely not least, chiseled tough brick. The brick is now centered in the middle of this block. You see that? That looks good. And then the top. Oh, it almost reminds me of, like, a diamond block or something like that. It looks like a... I don't know, like a gem or, or whatever you want to call it. It looks good. And so that's Minecraft 1.21 so far. If you're watching this once the update has released, I've got a more up-to-date version with probably a little bit more in-depth on each feature. You should check that one out. Uh instead but it's a little bit late for that <laughs> channel members remember there's a world download so you can check all of this stuff out in the trial chamber that i was checking out it's like practically underneath this island but everything inside of the update right now whew, look at that compared to 1.20 1.19 and 1.18 this update is so far looking like a larger update Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch my 1.21 recap so far. I hope you enjoyed it. For more specific individual breakdowns, check out the Everything series. Don't sleep on it. Tap like, subscribe. All of my links are down below. And until next time, it's been me, Waddles. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.